a man has been charged with assault with a deadly weapon after comedian Dave Chappelle was attacked on stage in Hollywood. Here's what happened. Make some noise for hip hop history. The comedian wasn't injured, but police said the suspect was armed with a replica gun that contained a knife blade. Just after the incident, Chappelle joked the attacker was a trans man. He's been criticised for jokes about transgender people in the past. Comedian Chris Rock took to the stage minutes afterwards and joked that the attacker was Will Smith. And Jimmy Carr, who was criticised for his jokes about the Holocaust, was also there tweeting that it was crazy and he's happy everyone's OK. It was like a cancelled comedian convention that night. But do comedians have the right to offend? You could even say, do they have a duty to offend? Ian, what do you think? Uh, yeah, of course they have the right to offend. And Do I have to say this for the thousandth time? You don't have the right not to be offended. It's a curious position. Uh, that people hold. But in the world of comedy, I mean, this is extraordinary. You've got, you know, back in the day, people like Lenny Bruce from the sort of 50s, 60s and the like, Bill Hicks, people like that, Michael McIntyre, dare I even bring him into this Not conversation? Really. Don't bring uh, Michael Jimmy, McIntyre Jimmy, into that company, how Jimmy, dare you? Well, I do sort of find him slightly offensive, but that's another story. <laughs> um, and of course. But well, he's about orange juice and going round yeah, and I know, it's all, it's all lovely, harmless about? stuff. And then, of course, you've got Jim, our own Jimmy Carr, who's found himself in this place as well. I mean, comedians are meant to challenge, they're meant to push, they're meant to entertain, they're meant to make you laugh. And if they don't, in some, you know, a good comedian who's, you know, got a structure about what they're doing and a story to tell, uh, should be pushing buttons. You are meant to, you know, it's like any other sort of art form without getting too uh, clever about the whole thing. You know, you're meant to press a few buttons. But then you're you might meant to say people... you deserve a good sock in the kisser if you do well, it. But this because, is the you thing. Know, you're because... being deliberately provocative, antagonistic, hostile. Living... Someone's going to come and smack you well, one, aren't they? But that's the, I mean, this is the strange upside down world we're now living in, isn't it? Where, you know, everything is questioned. You know, should you be allowed to, you know, utter a certain phrase or do a certain routine if you're a stand-up comedian about X, Y and Z, it upsets somebody. So now it's OK to go and smack them. And comedians are in a fairly vulnerable place in that respect. Nicola, what do you think? I think that they can say, I, I agree with you to a certain extent that they can say what they like and that they can offend, but we don't have to still fund them or platform them. Don't go Ultimately, to see them then. Yeah, I, but I understand what, what, look, there were lots of people who worked at Netflix who protested against Dave Chappelle. What he said about trans people was awful, truly. Oh, was he saying it or was he joking about it? It's not the same thing, is it? That's the thing, but that's mm. the line that comedians draw sometimes because some comedians would argue that they're playing a character, whether, whereas other comedians are actually just fueling this kind of hate speech. But actually, the protests that took place outside Netflix, they weren't saying that they should cancel uh, Dave Chappelle. They were saying, well, if you're going to give a platform to Dave Chappelle, why not give a platform also to trans rights activists and do some kind of trans programming on the what? show for this balance? Well, the same, the same reason, balance. presumably, that Netflix hasn't gone ahead with Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex's dire-sounding programme about a little girl called Pearl based on herself. I mean, they've cancelled it before it's even started. Maybe they think something like that would well, be incredibly if you're... dull. JJ, what do you think? I think, let's not forget here, Dave Chappelle is the victim, OK? We should be saying <laughs> prayers tonight for him. Thankfully, yeah. he wasn't seriously injured. Yeah, well, soon, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> it's a comedian's right to offend. Um, and if you don't like it, it's your right to not go and see that comedian. I don't like Roger B. Brown particularly, <laughs> you know? And I don't pay to go and watch him. And I don't buy his DVDs. Um, I can't stand him. But he's allowed to still tour in some places in the North. Uh, and, and, the <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that um, you've got Chappelle and Jimmy Carr um, and Chris Rock, all these people here at this, this comedy thing by Netflix, this shows that you can't cancel comedians. Like, they're getting paid a huge amount of money to entertain, and I only wish that I'd been there to see it myself. Oh, you think you would have enjoyed it? Had you? Yeah, absolutely. I love Dave Chappelle. Isabel, what about you? Did you see the state of the guy that actually socked him on? I God. mean, the state of him as he was carted off by the authorities, I would have thought would be quite a deterrent for anyone who might be <laughs> yeah. thinking of a copycat action. And, you know, I, I think... I think it's completely fair enough that he got beaten up. I mean, if you are going to stride out onto a stage, I mean, this is taking the whole streaking thing a step further, isn't it? You know, in the old days, yeah. you'd have people streaking onto mm -hmm. race courses and that type of thing. But actually causing somebody physical violence, then, you know, you're going to get what's coming to you. Who attacked the attacker by? Was that Jimmy Carr again? You know what <laughs> 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 well, Apparently, who, who, Dave somebody Chappelle's gave him a, you know, a good hiding, didn't they? I think it was a security, was a security team. Yeah. Yeah. Who I think are the Avengers. And they got a shout-out for the it, didn't they? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. But he had a broken hand, he had a dislocated shoulder, you know. I mean, His shoulder was in another postcode. Yeah. 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 But we're not saying that this horrific. was necessarily like a trans rights activist or we don't know what his motivations were, that yeah. he was offended by a joke. I think possibly this was just a kind of crazy But he probably individual. thought, here's my cue to be offended, so all of his, Dave Chappelle, he's an incredibly talented comedian, he's globally known, and he does some trans stuff which some people find uncomfortable. So this is my, this is my Andy Warhol moment. I'm going to storm up there and show them. Uh, but he got a, a good hiding in a police conviction. And in conviction, our homage to Dave Chappelle, nobody thinks that he is very unsubtle in being mm. deliberately provocative. Yeah. You know, you're watching it and you think, oh, Dave, what are you going to say now? Oh, <laughs> Dave, why did you say <laughs> Dave, you're playing me, man, you're playing me. It's so, it's so predictable that he's going to say the most incendiary, the most controversial, the most explosive thing, but you love him for it, right? Yeah, yeah. Get more Dave Chappelle on Netflix. Watch their, their stock soar. It's interesting that there were no women at that concert. It was all cancelled men that seemed to have made that return. <laughs> Metaphonia women aren't. No. no. <laughs> we <didn't get> me <laughs> started. I'm sure we will uh, we'll return, I'm sure, to this, uh, this issue on future programmes.